Oh, hello there. I thought I'd do another video on some of my Barco tools. There's a couple of interesting ones that I've picked up over the last 12 months or so. This one I believe is called the alligator wrench. Now it's got a standard, we call them shifters here in Australia. Uh, the rest of the world I think they call adjustables. So this one, I don't have the packaging. It's got 31 or 32 written on. I think 32 is how wide the jaws go. So, that, and it's good to have that there. It does help when you know what you're putting it on. The other end has this strange looking jaw on it. Uh, I believe this is why it's called the alligator. So we'll just have a quick look at how well that works. Now, as you can see, we have a plain jaw on the bottom and the tooth jaw on top. As long as you have the tooth jaw in the right orientation, it will definitely turn your screws. Uh, it's not very practical really, but I think I could see use for it if you're kind of blind and just sticking it in behind somewhere to undo something. I think it would be quite useful in that case. Now the other thing I have here is this nail pull. Now this, actually for the gimmicky looks of it, is fantastic. It has a thing here where you can pop it over the nail and lean back on it and use the leverage there to pull it. Otherwise at the other end here, it has parts where you can put the claw of your hammer on it and use it for extended leverage. Now I have used this quite a bit in our bathroom renovation. Sorry, but what have we got in here? We've got a 36 there and an ergo there. I believe ergo refers to the handle. 36 might be the part number. It might, no, that's not 36. Anyway, look, pulling nails is, is or can be quite difficult depending on where they are and what size they are. The bore paneling in my bathroom had been done with a lot of brad nails. So it was quite good for me to use this. I mean, the issue there is you you have to be able to get in the right orientation. You can't just be putting this pressure here on um, drywall, gyprock, fibro, whatever you want to call it, because it will just bust through it. So it took a little bit of working out, but yeah, it, uh, it was quite good. You may remember my old DeWalt bar here with the nail puller between the two of these. Yeah, we got all the nails in the bathroom out and believe me, there were literally hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. Okay, well, just a quick one there. Another few nice Barco tools that I've found and yeah, thank you.